Now, the trick to sewing around a curve is to sew as far as your eye can see. And what I mean by that is, when you start sewing, you can obviously see this along the line, but you will get to a point whereby your curve is moving. So I will show you what to do when you get to that point, but it's important for you to not try and squeeze or force your fabric around that curve because what's going to happen is if you're sewing for example a neckline or an arm sky or arm hole you will have problems it might stretch so i will show you how to sew around a curve now so let's start off i'll reverse similar to what i've been doing before and then i will keep my eye here now as soon as it begins to go out you can see that this point is going out of this line what i will do is i will leave my needle down i would move and navigate until i am on that line again and most times when you're even sewing around the circle you will probably even need to use your hand most of the time so you keep lifting like that and you keep sewing so i will keep sewing until i can't see anything anymore or, or until the center of my foot is no longer in line with my lines and I'll just keep doing it until I have sewn along the line. You can see this is way out of it. This is way out. So what would I do? I leave my needle down and I turn. And in this situation, when you get to the edge of the curve, you have to actually go slowly. And you have to use your balance wheel to turn and navigate around your machine. Do not force it. Most people try and force it. No. When you force it, you have not only do you have a nasty sewing, but you also stretch your fabric and you really don't want to stretch your fabric so that is how you do it and trust truth be told when you are sewing it doesn't seem this stressful so don't think oh my god this is so stressful no it's not really that way so once it's out i lift like that and i turn it's going out again so what do I do? I lift and I turn and I keep doing that until I can see what I am doing again. And you can see I'm going quite slowly to ensure I hit my lines. And you can see I'm now sewing normally. But if I see that I'm coming out like I am coming out right now, I lift and I navigate again. This is obviously out of line again. So I lift and I turn. Lift and turn. it is a bit tough trying to do this when there's a camera staring at you but um, so I don't block the camera that's why it's a bit awkward so I lift and I turn until I am done so let me just finish this and then I'll show you the next technique Now, of course, the truth is you can even see your yellow through the foot where the needle hits. So you pretty much know if you're hitting the line or not. You can see I'm able to hit my line. Okay, and then when you get to the end, you just reverse. And you are done. Right. And that is how to sew around a curve. If you have like a wobbly line here, you can just unpick from here to here. And then fix it but if you're going to fix it just reverse just on this stitch alone and that stitch alone so the next thing we're now doing is we will learn how to sew using an allowance